for this video I thought I'd first apologise for using a 50mm bokeh lens which I thought would create a nice look for this video but just ended up blurring most of my artwork even on automatic which I thought would focus on my brush strokes which I didn't realise at the time when looking into the monitor so yeah please bear with me and perhaps use your imagination a little bit for the details. Secondly, I wanted to talk about my new paints, which I've been so excited to use. If you're just here for the speed painting, feel free to mute this video. Anyway, for those still listening, I recently bought the Winsor & Newton Piccadilly Professional Watercolour Box. I don't think it's available anymore. I just bought the cheapest one I could find off eBay and thought I'd test them out in this illustration of a dapper looking raccoon. I previously, not so much on this channel, been using Winsor & Newton Cotman compact travel set of 14, which I just adore for the price quality and the convenience of it. I thought I'd upgrade and get some professional grade paints, hence my wild eBay journey. Piccadilly set is a set of 18 half pans plus a tube of white paint. What I really liked about this set was the wooden box and the sponge and the porcelain palette or dish inside. What I didn't like so much about the aesthetic is that the paints sit in a plastic tray instead of in slots. Aesthetics aside, I was both pleased and disappointed with the quality of the paints. I was particularly impressed with the blues. It's difficult to talk about the shades because the colours uh, don't seem to correspond with the names um, on the colour chart included in the box. Most of the colours were really vibrant, but I found that with the yellows, ochres and siennas there was very little differentiation between shades and the more neutral the colour, the less pigmented it was. Though the chart says that Viridian isn't in the set, there were three different greens and one appears to be Viridian, so um, anyway I was really let down by this colour. It's one of my favourites and I was expecting it to be better quality. The pigment and binder have separated so it's nearly impossible to get any pigment on my brush and if I do it separates into small chunks and I had to mix other colours to recreate it which was really disappointing for the price especially compared to the Cotman Viridian which has come up wonderfully with layering in my previous paintings. I may order another in the future to see if it was just a faulty batch or not but overall though I'm reluctant to admit it. Windsor & Newton professional quality paints aren't worth the cost, though I'd recommend the student grade Cotman sets to anyone working with watercolour, particularly students on a budget. So yeah, I was just really disappointed with these. Um, the only one that I really, really liked, I think it was a black. It appears to be black on the chart, but it's more of an indigo. The one I'm painting into the corners, it came up really well, it came really opaque with like more layers and re really held its shape really well and didn't distort or anything when I added more water for other colours. And I think it was a cerulean or Cer Windsor blue green shade, either one of those. That was a really beautiful colour which I just used a hint of in um, the coat and on the band around the bowler hat um, and I've been using a quill, a feather quill pen as well to do this painting which was really fun. I love using it. It works so much better than um, a regular quill because it's more flexible and you can really get into um, the rough texture of the paper unlike other pens which is really great if you're using a cold press or rough textured watercolour paper and it's not like fine liners that'll get chewed up and worn out by the texture of it. And I also really wanted to talk about uh, the white ink that I brought from Winsor & Newton. It's really, really beautiful. It's, it becomes really opaque with layering and you can create a really nice effect which I try to create with the smoke coming out of the pipe which you'll see in a second. I just wanted to also add that um, some of the painting wasn't actually done whilst filming. I had done some of it outside because I got a bit impatient and I 
just decided to do it while my battery was charging so there may be a few inconsistent parts of this video where things just suddenly appear so sorry about that if you were trying to observe my technique <laughs> and here is the finished painting i hope you enjoyed this video um, like and subscribe for more videos as always and let me know what you want to see next time